Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, God is Queen, just me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Aries, you are up. So this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node, guided to this video. If you don't have Aries in your chart and not dealing with anybody that has Aries in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Cuss babies, cross watchers, I'm including you in this reading as well. Cuss babies, I'm including you in my readings because your sun sign represents who you're trying to be before you pass over in this lifetime. So if I state your date of birth, that means that you're a cuss baby. If I don't state your date of birth, that means that you're a regular uh, Aries when it comes to your sun sign. So cuss babies, uh, even sun sign Aries is, or whoever's watching this video, your sun sign represents energy of who you're trying to be before you pass over in this lifetime. So if you're a cuss baby, that means that you're born between two zodiacs. So you have two different energies in you. Um, that you're trying to adapt before you pass over in this lifetime. So uh, Pisces slash Aries, March the 17th through March the 23rd. Pisces slash Aries, March the 17th through March the 23rd. And then Aries slash Taurus, April the 16th through April the 22nd. Aries slash Taurus, April the 16th through April the 22nd, okay? Um, if you're new to my channel, I do give messages to the collective before I do give my readings. So if you're pressed on time, you can always go down to the comment section of the video to go directly to the beginning of the reading. If you're pressed on time, if you don't want to hear me talk, moving forward, if you use your free will to state that I talk too much, you will be blocked and not be able to come back on my channel. One of the gifts that I do have is clear audience and the song that's in the background, I'm still using Spotify. I have Aries and then I have Gemini left over for the end of August. Um, as far as me using the Spotify, that's what my ancestors wanted me to do. I have over 80 something songs and it's on shuffle. The song that's on right now is Rodents and Snakes um, by Slim Thug and um, Killer k -On. Okay, so the cards that I use in my videos um, have already, the main deck we're going to shuffle and cut on camera. The other cards have already been shuffled in your energy, Aries, so we'll cut those other cards on camera. Um, if you're interested in your birth chart, it's also listed in the description box of the video underneath Cafe Astrology. Also, as far as with the link, if you're interested in purchasing any of these decks, like I said, that I use in my videos, they're also listed in the description box. I also have my own Amazon store. If you're into energy, healing, crystal stones, different things like that for your enlightenment, your growth. Okay. Um, another thing is uh, North Node. I'm including you in my readings because your North Node represents your past life karma and this karma in this lifetime. So it represents both. And since we're waking up and remembering who our souls and our spirits have always been since they first touched Earth and then any lifetime like how the avatar in the movie when he walked into the chapel and they were like who is all these statues of these people and he was like these is all my lives before the life that i have now um so <clears throat> past lives um so make sure 
the things that your ancestors, your higher self, whatever that they're showing you that you're connected to as far as your soul and your spirit. Don't deny those signs and synchronicities that you're getting because it's stopping you from who you're meant to be. Um, let's see anything else. It's Virgo season. So that's earth energy. So um, we're ending. Le we ended Leo. So now we're in Virgo season. Virgo, Virgo again, earth. So earth, um, as far as it being an earth sign, you know, green, wear green, wear um, dye your hair green, go outside, connect with nature, walk outside barefooted, touching your trees, you know, laying in the grass, sitting in the grass, meditating in the grass and so on. <clears throat> okay. Um, another thing is, um, with Virgo energy, you know, Virgo energy as them being the hermit, they're like the loner. Um, that's when, you know, you do a lot of your soul searching, you separate yourself from family, friends, you know, your work life, you know, certain characteristics about yourself with these addictions, different things like that, like lust, alcohol, money, drugs, um, detaching yourself from that situation so you can gain your awareness, gain that knowledge that you need as far as elevating yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. Um, and then also you possibly un in during Virgo season becoming, you know, more analogical, you know, being a me more logical as far as when it comes to, so you could be making a lot of head over heart decisions, um, when it comes to the Virgo energy as well. So, um, watching your money, your finances could be focused as well. Family, friends, that earth energy, that nurturing energy. Okay. <clears throat> So the song that's on right now is Cash Shit by Megan, The Stallion, and The Baby. I can't be fucked with. You can't touch this. <laughs> so, Aries, is that how you feeling? Y'all all about y'all coins. You know, y'all got that hustler mentality. Y'all are like the emperor when it comes to the tour deck um, split with, you know, um, <clears throat> with Taurus, with the Emperor card, but again, you being the boss, regardless if you're female, uh, masculine, we both have masculine and feminine energies in it, it's in your birth chart, at the bottom, <clears throat> balling, by Mustard, and Roddy Rich, like I said, balling, <laughs> pinnacles times on your coins your money money on your mind Aries says that's what I feel <clears throat> Aries Leo son, Aries son I was said Aries Leo <laughs> I was getting ready to name out the off the zodiacs but Aries sun moon rising Venus Mercury north node guided to this video if you don't have Aries in your chart and not dealing with anybody that has Aries in their chart maybe there's some messages in this video for you too um the Leo's gate that's what I was trying to say they wanted me to remind you Leo's gate is still open until the 27th a lot of us been battling in the spiritual realm since the month the end of May with the ring of fire you know um your bloodline battles you know, Sagittarius full moon opened up um, ending with Mercury retrograde. It was a lot of different things. Leo's Gate portal opened 8th 8th of August. Again, ending on August the 27th. Um, so Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node. Got it to this video. If you don't have Aries in your chart and not dealing with anybody that has Aries in their chart. Okay. I've been waking up to get money. <clears throat> Two twins, I'm fucking them both. Wow. <laughs> I just noticed that he said that. Okay. We have the four of pinnacles. So this is holding on to something too tightly. Like I said, your monies, your finances, your pinnacles. Okay. Your coins. Um, some of y'all could be focused on your money. If that's not represent, this could also represent energy as far as somebody like, you know, being stingy when it comes to their finances, their money, their time, their energy, not putting in the same effort as everybody, you know, you Aries or your masculine, your feminine is not putting in the same air effort as you. Um, or they feel that you're not putting in the same effort when it comes to the relationship between them and them. 
with between you two okay this also represents energy as far as like greed so let's say if there is a karmic karmic soulmate because this card with this deck um with their eyes being you know them not having any eyeballs just looking like that they're a soulless person or a black widow i do feel that there's some energy as far as somebody holding on to a certain thing assets money finances or this could be physically holding on to you Aries, too tightly when it doesn't belong to you or you could be holding on to something too tightly like i said or if there is a karmic that's involved somebody's holding on to something too tightly that does not belong to them okay um wow i told you somebody's holding on to something that's too tightly that does not belong to them um with this deck like i said some of y'all could be dealing with the scorpio a scorpio could be involved in the situation if they're not a scorpio then it could be um again just the these energies that you know this person is uh holding right now possessing um so with the five of pentacles comes out this represents abandonment it represents feeling you know left abandoned feeling like you are not good enough um somebody again not knowing your worth and uh, realizing I, they don't know your worth because i guess i guess because they're spending more time with other people other things they're they're not occupied on you Aries, or you're not occupied on your divine feminine divine masculine or your divine feminine or divine masculine is not occupied on you um uh, same thing cross watchers vice versa but when this five of uh, uh, pinnacles comes out this also represents like i said holding on to something too tightly so i do feel that somebody let's say if there was a karmic if there was any spell work or black magic that was involved with this this lady not having you know eyes looking soulless um this person was paying could have been paying somebody else to put spells on you aries or put spells on your masculine your feminine um because they didn't want you to be with your divine feminine divine masculine is what i'm hearing wow look death card yeah somebody was definitely using possibly like i said black magic spell work paying somebody to you know do type of spells or do work on you um with the death um the death card coming out like i said a scorpio some of y'all could definitely be dealing with somebody that has scorpio on their chart um but this also represents separation so i do feel that there's going to be an ending to a relationship let's say if somebody was paying you know uh a uh, voodoo doctor or a shaman a, a gypsy or whatever the case may be to you know produce spells do root work or anything like that black magic on you to stop you from your transformation or to keep somebody stuck that shit did not work um it's like whoever if this is you Aries, or if this is your masculine or feminine your masculine or feminine is going through so many different transformations and rebirth if this person is trying to pay to keep something on them it's not catching to them because this person is in a growing stage um is what i'm hearing so like this person is wasting their money they're wasting their time and their energy yes it's delaying the relationship between you and them but at the end of the day there's going to be separation that's going to be involved into this relationship i do feel that this is also like a letting go of an ego so let's say if you were dealing with somebody that had too much pride or like i said if this person was just more focused on their money their assets their you know other things i feel that somebody's having a depth of the ego there's going to be a certain attachment that's letting go um this is a major transformation card um it's a spiritual awakening card as far as like i said uh closures putting closures um you know uh endings of you know burnt bridges and all and things like that so the world card so this represents energy of as far as a complete cycle so i do feel like there's a karmic cycle that is getting completed i do feel that there was snakes that was in your circle with this card the snake being around this ring of fire um this this phoenix okay and like i told you some people have been going through their phoenix rising battles their bloodline battles um, you know, divine feminine, divine masculine battles and they're rising from the ashes. This also represents a, a, a new beginning as far as a rebirth um, for a lot of y'all. Aries is our cross watchers. So this represents energy as far as Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. So I do feel that somebody's getting ready to have a completion, a, a completed cycle. I do feel like I said there was a snake or, you know, wolves in sheep clothing in your mix Aries says that was holding, trying to hold on to you too tightly or your masculine, your feminine too tightly and you overcome those obstacles, especially if there was black magic or spell work. Yeah, somebody's trying to keep somebody trapped. 
especially if there was black magic spell work um, to keep somebody trapped or keep them in the same cycle. Um, like I said, that shit is um, falling off because you're going through so many transformations. Um, somebody's soul, like I said, I do feel that there was some deception. There was false masks being worn as far as when it comes to a relationship between you and this person or this karmic or this is this is family members or friends. Okay, but this represents Capricorn. This represents energy as far as attachment. It represents feeling like you're bonded to a certain situation, a trap. Okay, um, feeling attached, um, not understanding why you're attached, being more in lustful or negative energy is what I'm hearing. And I feel that somebody was definitely trying to do this. I do feel like this other person that is involved or connected somewhat, some way, as far as when it comes to your bloodline, Aries or your your masculine, your feminine's bloodline, as far as when it comes to this karmic or this karmic soulmate, or if this is karmic family and friends. Okay, it's a circle that was you like a, a, a real, they're close to you as far as when it comes to your circle or this individual is like kin to or close to some of your family members as well. Okay. And that's another part of the trap of how they keep you tied to this person. You have the sun card. So this represents energy as far as, um, a promotion. So let's say if there is any job or if this is your, you holding onto your pinnacle and pinnacles too tightly because you're investing or, you know, you're getting a lot more, um, money that's in your pockets or anything like that. Um, there could be a promotion. This could be a new job, a new brand, brand new beginning. As far as when it comes to your career, um, a start for that. I do feel that somebody is, like I said, still holding onto something, some tightly. If this is a job, like a boss, um, there could have been like, you know, deception as far as when it comes to your finances is what I'm hearing. Aries or cross watchers, but this represents energy as far as a new beginning. Um, so this person sees you as, like I said, um, their light, their sun, when the sun comes out, you are their light, they're shining, you know, you're, you are their light, you are their joy, you are what makes this person happy, okay, so this represents fire, so Aries, Leo, as well as Sagittarius, it also represents Leo, um, like I said, somebody had a transformation, um, because they won their spiritual battle as far as the ring of fire battle, or again, this person is rising from the phoenix, the, the, the rising from um, the ashes, like a Phoenix rising. Okay. Yeah, definitely a lot of fire energy. This is you a passion behind the, um, what the things that you do, um, Aries is passion behind the commitment between you and this person. Let's say if there was a third party individual that was involved with the relationship and they were coding onto something that was too tightly or trying to keep this person trapped with finances. Let's say if it was codependencies, if you, you know, this masculine or this, this, feminine was not able to provide for themselves financially this could have been also a trap as far as when it comes to this karmic or this karmic soulmate that they were involved in as well but i feel that this this deep desire between you and this person as far as this connection this person is actually a, accomplishing or you're accomplishing a lot of things as far as when it comes to your career your finances your home again uh leveling up as far as when it comes to your confidence um is what i'm getting from this energy aries is okay um the highest priestess somebody he definitely was using spell work or paying somebody um, to do spells or like I said um, break the cord between the divine feminine and divine masculine bring harm also possibly fuck with your finances and your income is your stability is what I'm hearing when you have this highest priestess card come out this represents energy as far as cancer Pisces as well as Scorpio typically on these pillars there's a B and a G here a B and a J excuse me so B as in Bridget J as in Johnson, okay, is what I'm getting from this. So typically those um, are, you know, pillars. This also represents yin and yang energy. It also represents, you know, your shadow self, your dark your dark side, feminine and masculine energy. So I do feel that somebody, like I said, with this transformation, this rising from this ashes um, transformation, this purging, this cycle that they're getting ready to get ready to start is going to be a brand new beginning. Um, I feel like it's nothing but going up from here, Aries, is, is what I'm hearing, um, especially with you winning these battles um, in the spiritual realm, which is allowing your third, your 3D avatar body to rise, um, you know, go to a higher vibration, also get the keys of life, the knowledge um, about your ancestors, your DNA, who your soul and your spirit is, okay, also revealing 
any, you know, wolves in sheep clothing or anybody else that doesn't have any good, good intentions um, for you. Aries, since our cross watchers, yeah, the four swords. So a lot of y'all are meditating. A lot of y'all have, like I said, been separating yourself from certain things that are no longer serving you, especially if there was a lot of attachments, somebody trying to keep you stuck. Um, this is the meditation. This also is no physical movement. There could have been no communication between your divine feminine, divine masculine. I feel that this person has been healing or going, like I said, going through a transformation in the cocoon stains. Now, you know, sprouting like the butterfly and that's keeping coming out in a lot of my readings as far as when it comes to these transformations that we're all going through. Okay. Um, but I do feel that this person is getting some type of knowledge, you know, while they're asleep, even possibly visions while they're standing up is what I'm hearing. Um, but I do, she has, what does she have in her? I don't know what the, oh, those are eyes. Somebody's third eye is opening up. Even though her eyes are closed, she can still see. So that's why I said a lot. Somebody is still, even though their eyes is closed or even when they're standing up, they're still getting visions um, about who they are, their soul or spirit is, or even who this karmic is that's keeping trying to keep them trapped is what I'm getting. Yeah, the strength card. So this represents Leo. And I said Leo for a reason. So some of y'all are involved with somebody that has Leo in their chart. Um, if they don't have Leo in their chart, I, this typically with, you know, the strength card, there's a woman that's holding back the lion. And like I said, I do feel that somebody was holding you back Aries from accomplishing a lot of things that you're meant to accomplish with them. Let's say if they are using spell work or if this person doesn't want you to go towards your divine feminine, divine masculine, you have a lot of missions that you're supposed to complete with your feminine, your masculine. Um, and this other person was holding you back and from accomplishing that also possibly holding you back from your abundance. If there was spell work that was done for that. Um, but I do feel that like I said, this is you gaining your confidence. This is you being bold, you gaining your strength. Um, the song that's on right now is The Woo by Pop Smoke, 50 Cents, and Roddy Rich. Okay? So somebody wants to fuck with The Woo. And again, you are The Woo because that's the boss, the, the head honcho, the, the head you know man in charge, the head woman in charge. And I do feel that, that with you having this King of Wands, this strength card, this sun card, you are somebody that's meant to be a leader. And like I said, if you were dealing with somebody else or if you were self-sabotaging yourself because, again, you were, you know, more focused on your money, your assets, or you were not wanting to change or let go of certain people that were toxic to you, Aries. Like I said, I do feel that um, now you're realizing your worth or you're realizing your masculine, your feminine's worth or they're realizing your worth is what I'm getting. The Page of Pentacles and now they're wanting to come in with this offer. So this represents energy as far as somebody acting immature. So like I was saying, somebody was acting immaturely. If if this is the uh, um, a feminine or a masculine, it could have been the father of their child, the mother of their child that was using the spell work to keep them tight, hold tight, set, you know, keeping them stuck. In same cycles or in this in a relationship with this, this individual, like I said, somebody possibly had more money or more finances or income that was able to provide to you heiresses or provide to your masculine, your feminine, which was bringing a codependency between this relationship between them and this person. Okay, is what I'm getting. So this represents Cance, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. It represents Capricorn. She likes all that gangster shit. So the four of cups, when this is upright, this represents missed opportunities. It represents disappointment as well as regret. Um, feeling like, you know, like I said, somebody feels that they put, they were putting their time and their energy in something that was not successful. When this four of cups is reversed, this represents energy as far as like no longer missing out on op that opportunity. So now this person is making uh, like let's say it, let's say if they were not choosing you Aries or you were not choosing your masculine your feminine and there was a lot of missed opportunities between the connection between you and them now this person is taking action so now there was no movement no there was no physical movement between you and them possibly no communication now this person is getting ready to take action and that's the reason why this king of wands and the strength card is here this transformation 
them all, all this movement, action, boldness, energy. Okay. You have the six of pentacles. So this represents energy as far as giving as well as receiving. So now this person has something to give or they're wanting to put in the energy, the time, um, uh, into the relationship that there's, that they're needing to do in order to keep this relationship successful. So, uh, in the past, this person possibly was giving their time and their energy to other people, other things. Now this person is coming in and they're wanting to, like I said, provide. Okay. We have the King of Cups. Make sure these cards are not reversed. We have the King of Cups. So this person was, you know, detached from the relationship or detached from their emotions. Somebody could also did a, a detach. Like if this other person did any type of black magic or spell work, they did it where you're the masculine or Aries, you were not opening up and expressing to your divine feminine the way that you're wanting to dis express to them. Also possibly making you feel like you did not love them. Um, or there, the love was not real. And that some of y'all possibly realizing that was missed opportunities because again, you are, um, in love with this person or this individual as far as your divine feminine, divine masculine. And I feel that somebody was putting a veil over somebody's eyes. So when the King of Cups is reversed, this represents energy as far as a love them and leave them type of energy. So some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody that was like that. Or this other person, like I said, was doing spells that was keeping you feeling like you were not loving your masculine, your feminine, or you did not love them is what I'm hearing. So this represents Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. We have the star card. So like I told you, even though this person is paying these other individuals or this other person to do black magic spell work, that shit is not working. You're overcoming this. Okay. When this Aquarius card comes out, this represents transformation. This represents wanting to come in and balance the situation between you and this individual, um, your masculine, your fem feminine. Um, this also represents testing the waters. So I do feel that in the past, this person was testing the waters, especially if this King of Cups coming out, this is somebody that typically you know has multiple relationships or they're loving somebody else um i do feel like you know i read my cards reverse um as far as the karmic cards so i do feel that this person was holding on to something too tightly like i said they were if they were using spells that was an illusion you have the hangman if they were using spells that was illusion to keep this person stuck, okay? Uh, bring per procrastination between the relationship between you and your masculine, your feminine is what I'm hearing. So I do feel that somebody is gaining some type of download, some type of information, keys of knowledge. If this is you, Aries, is, again, that's why you're in standstill. Some of you are possibly thinking your masculine, your feminine is in standstill, but I feel like somebody's really going through a major spiritual awakening with all these major arcana cards coming out and they're upright and they're the right ones that lets me know that somebody is definitely getting DNA activations, going through something spiritual, realizing who they are again in that cocoon phase, waiting for them to open, you know, uh, break, break free from that cocoon and then, you know, sprout, sprout to that beautiful butterfly. Okay. Is what I'm getting from this energy. We have calling in your soulmate. So I told you somebody's wanting to manifest this. Are you both been trying to manifest? Y'all both been calling each other in. So this is as the effort, you know, doing the meditations, praying affirmations, you know, I am, I can, I will, I, I, I do, um, all that type of stuff like that is causing you to be able to break free from this karmic's grip, this trap that this person is trying to keep you in because they're trying to keep you juggling and juggling energy is what I'm hearing. Um, so it says your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. We have codependencies. I told you there was definitely codependencies. Um, that was involved as far as when it comes to finances, um, you know, making you feel like you have to juggle. Some of y'all possibly had to juggle again. Let's say if there is this, the mother, your child, the father, your child, as far as when it comes to your finances, addictions are affecting your romantic life. This could be drugs or alcohol that was keeping this person stuck keeping them in, you know, lower energy passion. So there's definitely a burning desire, like I said, between you and this person, this king of uh, um, wands would not be coming out if there was not. I do feel like I said, if there was two individuals that was involved, somebody could be choosing you and letting go of a water sign, a cancer Pisces, as well as a Scorpio is what I'm getting. Um, this it says, allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. Okay. We have dear spirit. So it says, bring a gentle touch. And this is that person coming in, being gentle, coming in with this offer, coming in with something tangible that they do have something to offer as well as to give you. Okay. Um, there is going to be, I feel that there could be intimacy. There is going to be show, affection that has been shown. If this person was denying that in the past, they no longer can deny their feelings. Somebody is overcoming some type of addictions that was keeping them in, like I said, in negative 
devilish energy okay so it says be gentle with touch so we have an 18 here which is a nine nines represents moving on as well as growth otter spirit so this is my twin flame twin ray divine partner life partner card in this deck so you have a 42 here which is a six six represents harmony as well as path so it says we are never alone knowing that you're never alone when you're going through these transformations these cycles when you're seeing those synchronicities the signs that the universe is giving you your soul tribe starts coming in you start realizing who your soul and your spirit has always been you're putting the puzzle pieces together you're realizing that you're not alone there's always people here to help you when there's any type Type of conflict if somebody is trying to hold on to something too tightly that does not belong to them if there's any spell work black magic anything that's involved like that you have overcome that honey you have overcome that and like i said you are rising from the ashes you are um the song that's on right now is slow down by skip marley and her and like I said, this person now is coming in and they're wanting to put the time and the necessary energy in to get to know you, okay, is what I'm getting. But I guess, Lee, you're, you're, you're protected is what I'm getting. Life is speeding up. Definitely it is, okay? Once you make those major transformations and you make let go of the things that are toxic that you're not supposed to be attached to, life starts speeding up. Things start getting brighter for you. And I see it changes, changes major growth in your life Aries. so you have a two here twos represents union as well as balance um antelope spirit court so if somebody wants to cater to you like i said they're coming in with this offer they're they gain the strength to you know ask you out on a date or you know ask you to be mine is what i'm hearing or this person finally like i said with them letting go of these codependencies drugs alcohol lust another karmic family, friends, whatever the case may be. Now this person is, like I said, whole within themselves. Now they know how to love themselves. Now they can love you. And now they want to cater to you. But they gain the confidence. They gain the strength to ask you out on a date is what I'm hearing. Wealthy men, like I said, there was finances that was involved. Somebody was um, seeing you as an asset, Aries, or your masculine, your feminine. Um, the karmic was seeing your masculine, your feminine as an asset. This is you, like I said, tapping into your abundance. A lot of brand new starts as far as when it comes to your career, your finances, your foundation. So you have another 13 here. So that's four, four. So four could be significant to you. We have toil and labor. So I told you somebody was trying to keep you trapped in a system, keep you trapped in a cycle. Um, somebody got some, like I said, sheeps. And wolf, um, wolf clothing got revealed, snakes in their circle. Um, this also represents feeling like you are, you know, a slave to the system. Um, not overworking yourself, Aries is, you know, not making it. Like I said, somebody could have been somebody that was just more focused on their money. And yes, they are now got their, their finances and their pinnacles together. Now they're coming in to cater to you is what I'm hearing. So you have a 38, 11, 11s represents, uh, new beginnings. It represents, um, Twin flame, twin ray, divine partner, life partner, alchemy, as well as magician energy. We have confidence. Like I told you, gain the confidence and the strength. Now you're being the leader, being bold. Okay. So this person gained the confidence to ask you out on a date. Answers. <laughs> they want to know a yes or no. <laughs> they want to know what your answer is going to be. Good luck. So definitely, like I said, everything's working in your favor. And that's the reason why life is speeding up. Like I said, nothing but going up from here. Now you have water. So some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign. So cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. Um, make sure you watch the water sign videos for the month of August. Again, this is you being intuitive. You have another 24 here. Um, so that was two 24s. So another six, six represents harmony as well as past earth wow so some of y'all are dealing with an earth sign or like i said it's virgo season make sure you adapt to gaia get in tune with um you know the earth that would help you manifest your reality again y'all are going to realize that y'all are able to manifest again um calling in your soulmate calling in your soulmate um so you have a 26 here which is an eight eights represents movement okay so capricorn taurus as well as virgo make sure you watch those readings and then we got Libra here. So this is justice. This is Malta. This is you reap what you sow. Karma. Somebody getting dealt their karma. 
truth coming out, wanting to balance the scales between you and this individual. Okay, so you have a seven. Sevens represents mystery, represents DNA activation, seeing the signs, synchronicities. Um, so y'all definitely could be dealing with that. And last card, moon. So this could be going on in the next moon cycle, new next moon phase, which will be the new moon in Virgo, which is coming around the corner. Or we just had that new moon in Virgo, right? If I'm not correct, but the next full moon possibly could be. So this represents Pisces. You have a 14 here, which is a five. So like I said, somebody's getting some truth, some illusions. The veil is coming off. Um, illuminations, um, hitting truths, getting the keys the to the the word the the getting the keys of knowledge is what I'm hearing. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel, and I just want to say thank you and you have a great day. Yeah, <laughs> baby.